Hey guys, it's Zeki from Tier Zero Games, and today I thought I would bring a bit more of a long form Viking video for those who are trying to pick up Vikings or people who just want to know how I played it at the YCS and got the result I got. So I thought I would do, I guess, two, three things in this video. First thing is I quickly want to talk about how what I think about Vikings going forward. Um, with two of the main decks that this deck struggled with getting hit, so this being Unchained and Telement, Telement being the main one, this deck I think is a lot better well positioned. So the upcoming decks that we assume are almost going to be the tier one decks, this I think have a good matchup against. It has good against the Labyrinth, it has good against Rescue Ace, it has good against multiple of these decks that aren't super combo, however, and it has a decent get matchup against Manadium. Given that it has 15, 17-ish non-engine in the deck. So I do definitely think this is a competitor. I definitely think it's a deck to be aware of, deck to know to how to play against, and deck to play for the upcoming tournaments. And then we all know that once the new Snake Eyes and new Diabolster stuff come along, this deck's going to be the best deck, if not one of the best decks. Um, definitely the case. Yeah, the new support is going to be insane with it. If you like this type of format videos etc please let me know and hopefully i can create some more in the future maybe with a future bonfire build with the new snake eye stuff etc but yeah cool let's get into the combos i'm going to only show one real combo but there's two variations of it depending on what you're going against so the first combo i want to show is is uh ponix plus uh arvata or uh, kirin so these are, that's one of the main combos. So I don't like this line that much personally because it ends up losing to Nibru, Nibir, Nib. However, you do against decks that are more combo heavy, for example, um, Minadium, when you haven't drawn a hand trap and you are basically, you need as much as in traps you can to be able to beat that deck, then this combo is worth it. So, the basics of it is you go normal summon Phonics, effect. So, we'll do it with Avata. Uh, yeah, so you go normal summon of uh, Phonics, searching continuous, activate continuous for Viking Island. And this is where, so this is the first combo where you want as many that has the most interrupts. Uh, guaranteed interrupts, I should say, as well. So then you link away this into Almiraj. Uh, Almiraj, and then you can go Viking Island, popping Avata, searching. Grunix, and then you go chain link one Avata, targeting this, chain link two Grunix, special Grunix, special Ponix. Effect of Grunix, so this is where you destroy Brong, wherever it is, there we go. Pop and Brong so that you get the next standby face, and then you make these two into IP. And then Initially, this obviously seems very underwhelming uh, in terms of a board because you just got like an SP, right? But then in your opponent's standby face, you add, you add Kirin. So, in terms of interrupts you have now, it is you got. So, what you would do basically, how you would play this out, you would go when they start playing, when you think you it's worthwhile getting a pop, you go Kirin effect, pop the Almiraj special summon. And then you trigger Grunix. Grunix effect, then will destroy another Kirin. Okay, so yeah, then you pop Kirin, and then Kirin effect um, to reborn um, Avata and pop one card in your opponent's board. So that's one interrupt, and then what you're obviously reborning is a Monster Negate. And then you have, after you use the Monster Negate, so you can use a Monster Gate with something you had or whatever it is, but then so in terms of the rest of the interrupts, you got an IP into SP, either using 
depending if you, what you value here, depending if you value the rank eight that you're going to do, or if you value the monster negate, because you're going to only have violet. Or obviously this is a two card combo. So this is, if you have any fires in hand, then you want to keep this and then you can keep both. But yeah, IP link into SP with say Avata, and then you banish one, and then you can use SP effect, and then your final instruct will be the rank eight to blow up the board. So this is a more of a heavy interrupt line. But if you notice that my fifth summon was an IP and it is plays into hand traps quite heavily in that line. So I'm not a huge fan of the line. What the line I prefer is less cards needed and it works out a bit better. Um, the reason I like the line, uh, I'll go through it, is it um it plays through a top deck draw it plays through a top deck ash because if you notice there my all my interrupts relied on my barong uh resolving but i'm not a fan of that because if a top deck call by ash blossom dd crow anything to interact with that barong i've now basically went from six or four or five interrupts to zero interrupts which is not ideal at all so ideally i would like to get my confirmed play com my plays confirmed in my turn before doing anything else. So for the next line, you could do, it is, you can do it with Ponyx plus any fire, but I don't like that line. So it has to be, in my version of it, it's Ponyx plus any fire king, because you need to reborn something. The key here is you want to do fifth summon. So you only do this as well when you also have a third fire in hand. It can be any fire in hand. The reason I say this is you... That way you play around the Biru as well. So the idea is that you go, say I have a Grunic. So you go normal again. So normal, searching Sanctuary, activate Sanctuary, activate Island, pop any Fire King, and then search the other Grunix. Say in this case, the other Grunix. Grunix effects to send Sacred K uh, K uh, Kirin. Kirin's important here because you're going to be adding it out of Sunlight Wolf and then Reborn Grunix. Here you'll make Sunlight Wolf with two fires. So, big thing to note here that this is my fourth summon. And my fifth summon will be Link Rebo. And then fifth summon trigger effect to add back Avata and uh, Kirin. So they can Nibiru here, and again, so this is where I say it's important to have another fire or something along the line or something around that combo, just because you want to be able to, if they Nibiru you here, you want to be able to pop something for fire and then still have two to three interrupts in your opponent's turn. But if they don't, you link uh, into Heat Cell and then draw one and then draw in the draw phase. So this will net you a lot of pluses and the key point of this combo obviously you play a lot of hand traps in, 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 the, in the deck so being able to draw into hand traps is key and the thing that i really like about it is, is i'm not i'm not scared of a top deck ash blossom because ash blossom at this point doesn't do anything it can maybe trade with a heat sword draw sure that's not an issue but usually a top deck ash blossom a tech, top deck dd crow callback is game ending for this deck so being able to play through that is super important so this is the line i i go towards Cool. Um, next, I want to do some test hands and hopefully I will try to explain kind of my thought process why I'm playing the hand, how I check for hand traps, etc. Again, as I said, it's not as much of a combo deck as other decks. However, the with the simple decks, you have to play it super correctly in order to maximize the benefit and small mistakes often cause your opponents to be able to gain advantage because a lot of the idea of this deck is surviving to turn three because again you have such a good turn three so you want to make sure that you do that cool hopefully i don't brick uh, hopefully i draw something a bit one to two card combo at least okay let's see so you draw a sanctuary that's a good start grunix kirin fenrir Okay, this is a pretty good hand. Lack of hand traps, but it's pretty good. Cool, so first thing um, to check is whether you want to use Wanted straight away. So 
in draw face to play around draw that is. So my initial thought process is, am I going to do something, another search? Because wanted is searchable, I can chain it to draw. Um, and I often I don't want them to know I have another startup, basically. So the idea is here, because I wouldn't have, if I had Ponyx or something like that, then they wouldn't hand trap it if I knew I had wanted. Or you don't want them to know that you have a, a extender to carry on playing. So I think I would want it in draw face here. Reason being is there is no, I want them to stop want it because then I can play with Viking Island. Just a note for against this deck, the best choke point you want to do is Viking Island because usually it, the first turn destruction is often hard. So I would go draw face this, wanted to play around uh, draw lock, but uh, let's add this. Cool. Then I proceed to main phase. Uh, so I would special summon Fenrir. Uh, Fenrir, and then I think my first thing I will do here is activate Sanctuary. So Sanctuary to search to activate Viking Island. The main hand trap that you want to try to check for first. You don't, Ashes in this situation would be completely fine. The main concern is Drawn Lockbird, because that can often, sometimes it's a weird one, because it, sometimes it can end your turn, sometimes it doesn't do anything. But what I'll do here is play around that with uh, my first search being value. So I'll do Viking Island before doing any other searches. So Viking Island, popping Kirin. Searching... Because, so I have Grunix here, so my two other options are really Ponix and searching or Avata. But Diabolista is Ponix, so I don't want to search either of these. Uh, I don't want to search Ponix, I want to search Avata. So adding Avata. Cool. And then trigger effects. So now it poses the question is, do you trigger Kirin? So I would trigger Kirin here. Because I know my next line isn't going to be popping Kirin or Grunix. So there's no reason not to use the value. And for whatever reason, I don't know how it's possible. But if they were to be able to interact with Grunix, then that could be. And then you can often summon this. So you would go... So you'd think here. So you would... What chain links you would do here? So I would do... Chain link... 1. Chain link 2. Chain link 3. No, ch chain link 1. Chain link 2. Reason being, if this gets interrupted uh, somehow, Kieran can just summon this. So, so you go summon Grunix, and then resolve this, summoning Avata. Cool. Um, and then you will choose not to pop one because obviously there is no benefit in popping that. So you would then resolve Grunix, Grunix effect. So here I would look into probably. Searching, getting a better next and play. So wrong. Cool. So now, that now would be the opportunity on the chain link one two is for them to draw me. But draw at this point wouldn't matter. So they can draw me, and then I still am completely fine because I have the Kirin in rotation. I'll be able to play. So so they don't draw me in, for example. And then I'll go Fenrir. Fenrir resolve. Fenrir to search. So you make sure you Fenrir later. Uh, before you got your main searches through, because Fenrir isn't priority search, because Fenrir is just extra value to get. So you Fenrir search Fenrir. Cool. Now I'm looking at this situation, thinking what is the next turn play? So I'll get Barong to search the next down by phase. What I want to do is ideally is keep a, a monster negate and keep a um, and then maybe make heat salt. So that way I will play through basically everything. However, I need to also be conscious that I keep a fire in rotation so that I can pop with Bobata. So what I'll do here is special summon Diabellstar, Star, sending the Fenrir. Diabellstar Star effect to destroy, to set Snake Eyes. And then here, here you want to start working out what the right interaction is because you can you can use this to send obviously Diabellstar, which is the normal thing, but you can also send Viking Sanctuary because 
in my experience so far, they never get that far that you X, Y, Z. So you often just don't bother doing that. So in this sort of situation, given that I feel like I have enough interrupts, I think I would go this sending sanctuary. Because the idea is that I'm going to convert both of these into IP Mascarena. And then that way I have a monster negate. And then... Uh, yeah, so I would have a monster negate, an IP, and then follow up, and then a Ponyx as well. So what I'll do here... Actually, let me correct myself here. Because I'll be linking away the Ponyx. And then I want to keep a fire on board, however. The main thing I need to do is make sure I get this to the graveyard. Maybe the better line... If I send Diabellstar, that's Ponyx, that's IP, but then I could potentially lose to a Nibiru there. Yeah, so I would probably send this. Special Summoning Ponyx. Ponyx effect, this is where the spell is insane. The Skyburn, it just adds so much more value to your board and it doesn't rely on your Brong resolving again. One of the key things that I always emphasizing this deck is not relying on your Brong to search Kirin to be able to interact with your opponent's turn. So being able to have a Skyburn is a similar situation. So you're able to trigger your Grunix in your opponent's turn. So adding Skyburn. And then here, do I draw first with Snake Eyes or do I link? I think there is no reason for me to not uh, draw. So I draw a mystery card, I won't actually draw a real card. And then make these two into IP here. Cool, so and then I'll set this. Uh, so that is the end board. So I have a Monster Negate, a Fenrir Banish, an IP, a Skyburn, and then also I will have two forms of interrupt because in standby phase, uh, we'll search a Kirin. So one thing that you often see that happens as well in this deck, which is a very good interaction to do, is they will IP this being your only interrupt. But then you just simply, if you destroy it and then you just reborn it with a Kirin, then it's re-live. So that's a key thing to know. So this would be, in their main phase, this would be the end board. So in terms of interrupts, I got IP, uh, Fenrir Banish face down, um, and then a, a Monster Negate by popping this, Skyburn up to two, potentially more, a Kirin, and then to interact as well. Um, yeah, so in terms of interrupts, I, I would be very happy with this board, and then the one mystery card. Cool. Um, I think I'll only go through one com one playtest hand. Again, if you guys like this, if you guys want future videos like this, please let me know in the comments, and then hopefully I will upload some more. Cool, thank you, and make sure you subscribe, like, etc., Give me feedback. This is a bit of a rubbish setup, but hopefully um, I can get a better setup and make it a bit better in the future.